All right, we're gonna do the warm up. Step touch, just like this. Get that heart rate up. We have a fantastic workout for you today. Keep the core tight the entire time. All right, march it out. Good, four, three. We're gonna take it up on that bench. Take it up, down, up, down. Now we don't do a lot of bench work. We use the bench more for resistance. We're not doing fancy footwork. Go. All right, now hold it up on that bench. Tap it back, back. For anybody that's choreographically challenged, anytime I'm doing arms and legs, just go ahead and do your legs until you can get those arms and just work on it. All right, take it down to the floor. Jump that rope. If you want to do low impact, you can always take it lower. Modify this exercise for however you can do it. Everybody's different. Work up to it. Good. Four, three, two, and one. All right, heel jacks. You're gonna add a bicep curl. Get those arms warmed up. Take it to a shoulder press. Good, now take those arms, side, side. Breathe. Good. For four, three. Now take the arms up, up, up. Reach it up high. Eight more. Eight, seven, four, three, two. March it here. We're gonna take that foot on the other bench and go up, down. Four, three, two, and one. Now take it up on that bench, tap it back. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Jump that rope. Four, Three, two, and one. Take the feet side. Speed bag here, down and up. A plie, which means your body straight up and down. Working the inner thighs. Now hold it here. Hop, hop. If you don't want to hop, just lift the toes up. It's completely fine. Eight more. Eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. Take those feet in, stick the butt back, squat. Four more, four, three, two, pulse it down, pulse, pulse. Get low, get low, chest is up. Now lift this leg, down, lift up, down, up, good. Pulse it low. Pulse, pulse. Four, three. We're gonna do that other leg. Down, lift up. Three, two, and one. Hold it here. Pulse, pulse. And hold. Slowly roll it up. Good, take a deep breath in. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Good job. For the legs, you're going to need the bench and some weight. And that's all you're going to need. And a lot of energy because this one's tough, but I'm going to get you through. All right, you're going to have this knee low, just like this. We're going to get started in just a second. Hang in there. Get ready. Four, three, two, let's go. Tap it up, up. Now you're gonna tighten your core here. This knee is low. We're doing three sets of each. Now if you're choreographically challenged, just have your hands on your waist, that's okay. And then later you can add those arms. It might start off easy. Four, three, two, and one. All right, knee up. Same move, just take that knee up. Now I'm gonna come back to Michelle. Here, who's on the floor, get a little lower. I'm gonna pick on her a little bit. But even if you're on the floor, you can really still get that great workout. There we go. Here we go. Four, three, two. We're gonna kick it out. We're gonna go a little slower. I wanna make sure that that knee is bent. 
three sets of eight. Good. This is where you might feel it getting a little tough, where you're gonna have to push yourself through, or you can come to the floor if you're on the bench. Just make sure both knees are bent. Form is key. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, and one. Now take that foot out, and you're gonna hit your knee. So this knee's out, this knee's straight forward. You're working a little different angle of those legs. So you're gonna hit more the inner thigh and the glutes right here. Keep breathing. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Now kick the ball, kick, get low. We're slowing it down here too. That foot comes up. Show your foot to the TV, squat down. There you go. This really, is really, really gets tough. It's a mental game. Get through it. If you can't, march it out. That's okay. Do whatever you can do and push yourself to your limit. Just make sure you're challenging yourself. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Right away, we're gonna go into that power, one set each. Ready? Here we go. Tap it up. Good. Four, three, two, knee up, up. Good. This is tough, I know. Four, three, two, and one, kick it out. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, knee to the side, up. Good. Four, Three, two, now take that foot, go down. Show me your foot, good. Four, three, two, and one. All right, immediately into butt kicks. Now if you're more advanced, I'm gonna pick on Danielle for a second. Go as fast as you can, really push it up. Heart rate should be up. With the butt kick, you're actually stretching out your quadriceps. If you need to do low impact, you can hang here but make sure that you stretch out those legs. We have more cardio that we have to do. We're not done yet. A lot of calories burned in this section. Hang in there. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, and one. All right, you're running it on that bench. Hang in there, Michelle's on the floor. If your legs don't feel stable enough to run on the bench, be safe. Run on the floor, and then eventually you can work yourself up to that bench. Push it through, push it through. You can do this. Keep breathing. All right, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna hop it side to side. Use those feet, push off, really push off. You're gonna feel it in the legs. If you're super advanced, you can hit that bench come back up. Otherwise, just hang here. We're almost there. Almost done with that cardio section. Push it through. Good, core is tight. Four, three, two, and one. March it out. We're gonna take it up. March it on the bench. We're not done yet. We have 45 seconds of pure fun. Right ahead. Here we go. Four, three, two, and side to side. Take it down. Now, you wanna bend at the legs, not at the waist. So take a look at Michelle. She's not going all the way down to the ground, but her back is nice and flat. Danielle's touching the bench. Do what you can do, but make sure that your back stays flat and isn't hunched over. You wanna stick out your chest, Bend at the knees. Hang in there. Good. Push it through, push it through. Just think of how many calories you're burning right now. Good. Four, three, two, and one. All right, march it out. All right, for the arm weights, we're gonna do a lot of reps. You need some light weights. Go ahead, pick up those weights. You also need a mat, mat or a bench. We're gonna do two sets of each, then we're gonna do a power. 
Get ready, here we go. Take it up and down. Now we're not doing cardio here. So what you might wanna do is do the cardio section first and then this is a really good toning section. Otherwise, you can go for a run, run on the treadmill and then do this section. Keep the core really tight. It's gonna start off really easy, but I guarantee by the end of it, you'll be feeling it. Three, two, one. All right, take those weights up and down. Good, now if you start to sway, you have too heavy a weight, you can switch the weights out at any time. Michelle's doing eights, she's a little crazy. Danielle's doing threes and I'm doing threes. You're gonna need light weights, but even if you get, if it gets really tough, drop the weights. You can still get a good workout even without the weights. Two and one. Now only doing eight of these. Up, squeeze, here, there. Good, really squeeze and down. All right, four more, four. Good. Three, you should start to be feeling it. If you're not, add heavier weights. Two. All right, next one, we're gonna do a V. Weight is up to the ceiling, so that top of the weight is up to the ceiling. Michelle's gonna be modifying this with a bent arm row. Now I wanna notice if you're doing the row at home, see how her elbows are perfectly parallel to the floor? That's what you want. Good. Your shoulders should start to be feeling it anytime soon. Four, three, two, keep that core tight, and one. Now take it up, shoulder press. With this, you wanna make sure that you're in your peripheral just a little bit. You don't wanna be straight up and down. That can cause tension on the neck. Keep those shoulders down. And then also make sure, watch Danielle. See how her elbows only come to here? You wanna make sure your elbows don't go any lower than that. Three, two, and hold it here. Now bring the weights in. You should really be feeling it. Now if you're feeling it in your neck, again, lower those shoulders. Breathe. Make sure you exhale. You can change your weights out at any time. You can start off heavy, and then you can switch to light. Keep breathing. Four more. Three, Two, and one. Now hold it here. Up, 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 up. You're running them up. Really feeling that here. Arms should be burning, burning, burning. Hang in there. We're almost there. We'll do a quick break before we do our power. So I'll get you through. Four, three, two, and one. Now clap it here, because we're almost done. Hold it here. Good. Is your core tight? I know I keep reminding you, but it's so important. Hang in there. Four, three, two, and one. Now switch the weights to their up and down. Take it to the left for eight, seven, six, four more, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna do the other side. Are you ready? You can do this. Good. Seven. Keep breathing. Keep the shoulders down, a lot to think about. Four, three, two, and one. All right, just quick break, quick break. We're just gonna shake it out just a little bit. We're gonna go right back into those powers. One set all the way through. Four, three, ready, here we go. Take it up, down. Really squeeze. Make your own resistance. And again, if you're not really dying at this point, you want to increase those weights. Four, three, two, and one. Straight up front. Front. Good. Just eight of them. Now, if you start to sway, you can move your feet just like this. Two, and one. Up and squeeze just for four. Good. Three, Two, last one. Then we're gonna do the V, straight up and down. Michelle's doing that modification. Bent arm row. Good. Four more. Three, two, 
and one. All right, take the arms up into a goal post, up, down. Almost there, I know your arms are shaking. Four more, four, three, two. Bring those elbows in, take it in and out. I promise we're almost done. Hang in there, hang in there. Four, three. This is hurting. I'm in pain too, but we'll get through it. All right, bring it in, run it up. Seven. Clap it here for eight, seven. All right, take those up here. Take it side for four, three, two, and one. Other side, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here, hold it here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and shake it out. Awesome job. All right, go ahead, march it out. We're gonna do that other side, just like the last one. I'm gonna get you through it. Get in position. Hang in there. Now tap it up, up. Core is tight. Good. This, just keep in mind, this burns a lot of calories. You're toning at the same time, so the lower that knee is, the higher that bench. You can always challenge yourself to make it harder or go to the floor to make it easier. Three, two, now change it up to a knee. Up, up. Keep that knee low. Michelle's on that floor. Good. So if you're on the floor, take it down. Just a little lower. You really wanna isolate that leg you're standing on. You should start to feel it. Four, three, two, and one. All right, kick it out. Bend the knee, kick it out, bend the knee. Now if you can't kick and you need to do a tap, that's fine. Do what you can do because this is where you're really gonna feel it and breathe. Lots of things to think about. Good. Toning at the same time you're burning calories. Excellent way to get a great workout. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, and one. Take that knee side, up, up. Good, now this leg is front. This is side, again, we're targeting different angle of the leg. Inner thigh, outer glutes. Hang in there. Four, three, two. Now show me your foot. Kick it front, get low. Kick it front, get low. Good, now you might find one leg's easier than the other. So you might need to go on the floor to get through it. Just get through it, otherwise, hit pause, march it out or go to the next section. Do more the next time you do the video. But you can do this. Work yourself up, work yourself up to it. You can do it. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Get ready, we're gonna power through one set each. Pull, pull. Four, three, good. Knee up, good. Hang in there. Four, now kick it front. Eight, seven, six, four, two, and one. Legs to the side, up, up. Four, three, two, kick it. Front, show me your foot. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, butt kick. All right, I picked on Danielle last time. Now I'll pick on Michelle. Push it, push it harder. This is where if you're advanced, you can make it really, really hard. Cardio is up. If you need to. Hang in there. Only 30 seconds. Four, three, Two, now leave with the other leg. Up, up, down, down. If your legs are too weak, follow Michelle. Do it on the floor. You can do this. It's only 30 seconds. Hang in there. Push it through, push it through. Good. Calorie burn, toning. It's all good stuff. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Four. Three, two, and one. Hop to side to side. 
hop. Use those feet. Bend the legs. Bend the legs. More advanced. Touch the bench. Touch the bench. Good. Breathe. Push it through. Get low. Hang in there. Almost there. Good. Four, three, two, and one. March it out. Quick recovery. Take it up to the bench. 16 second recovery here. Breathe it through. Eight more, eight. Then we're gonna go side to side with those bench touches. 45 seconds, go. Good, you'll notice Michelle's not going down to the floor, but keeping that straight back. Good. Remember, bend at your knees, not at your waist. The legs are doing the work. Push it through, push it through. You're almost there. Almost done with the cardio. Hang in there. Breathe. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. March it out. Take a deep breath. Get a drink if you need to. We have that weight section next. Quick cool down. That heart rate should be really, really high. You're gonna lower it just a notch. Good. All right, so go ahead. Come around to your bench. You can also, if you have a bench that has ridges on it, you can put a towel down so that your arms don't hurt. And then grab a weight. I'm gonna grab a little heavier weight, but we're not gonna use the weight right away. We're gonna do a dip. Make sure your elbows go straight to the back of you. Fingers are pointing towards the TV. That's key that your finger's in the right position. Make sure you use your arms to come down, not your butt. So I don't want you doing this. I want your arms to go down. So go ahead, pulse. Pulse. Now, you can take one leg up. Michelle's gonna cross it. I'm doing the harder version here. Keep pulsing. Take it down. Breathe. Good. Other leg, take it up. You can work yourself up to this. Otherwise, follow Danielle. Now, take it down. Down, two, up, two. Remember to move your arms, elbows going straight back. That's key. Up, down. All right, lift that leg. Here we go. Good. Four, three, two. Take that foot down. Pulse it here. Other leg. Eight, seven, six, five, four, two, and one. All right, take it back. We're immediately gonna go into taking our weight back. Elbows, make sure they're in. This is key. Singles, down, up, down, up. Good. Hang in there. Two more. Now hold it here, parallel to the floor. Just isometric hold, you know I love those. All right, now we're gonna pulse it up just like this. Baby pulses. Breathe, breathe. Good. Four, three, two, now we're gonna do it again. Up, down. Switch out the weights if you need to. This gets really tough really quick. Good. Hold it here. Hold for eight, four, three, two, baby pulses. Almost there. Breathe, <laughs> four, three, two, good job. All right, take it down. You're gonna take it down to the ground or down to the bench. Isometric hold here. This is gonna seem easy at first and it's gonna get really hard. Elbows are out. You wanna make sure that you bring those elbows in as wide as the weight. That weight is gonna hover right above your eyeballs. So just hold it there. All we're doing is holding this for two counts. We have eight more. 
Good. It's gonna get tough soon. We're gonna pulse it up. Two counts of eight. Pulse, pulse. Baby pulses. Keep breathing. Eight more pulses. Good. Now, hold it here again. Two counts of eight. Don't drop that weight. If it gets too hard, switch out your weight to a lighter weight. Good. Almost there. Hang in there. We can do this. Pulse, pulse. Burning, burning right now. We'll get through it. All right, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, roll it on up. Fun is not over. We're gonna do it all again, but just one time through. Get ready, you ready, ready, ready? Okay, here we go. Pulse it, eight, seven, breathe. If you can, lift one foot up, eight, seven, good. Take that leg down, breathe. Elbows are back, fingers facing the TV, other leg. Good. Four, three, two, two and two. Down, two, up, two, three more. Up, two more, down. Up, down. All right, set it back. Go ahead, grab that weight. Are you ready? You can do this, here we go. Down, I'll get you through it. But again, don't feel bad. If you can't get through this whole thing, it's really hard, really tough. Three, two, and one. Hold it here. Each time you do the video, you can do more and more. You'll improve. Now, pulse it up. Good. Almost there. Four, three, two, last set. We're gonna come down to that bench. Okay. The last stretch here, hold it here. Again, make sure those elbows are in. We're gonna get started right now. Two counts of eight, but we're only doing it one time through. Eight more. Good. All right, we're gonna pulse it up. Here we go, eight, seven. Two of them. Last one, I'll count it for you. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, roll it up. We're gonna do a quick stretch because your triceps got a really, really good workout. I'm kind of known for doing some brutal tricep exercises, but that's what you're gonna really see, especially on women. When you start losing weight, you're gonna notice your triceps and it's gonna look really, really good. So stretch the other side. All right, good job, you did it. All right, this is the ab section. You're gonna need a bench, a mat, and then one weight, and then follow Michelle if you don't have a bench. Let's get started. We're gonna start off with some planks. With a plank, you wanna make sure that you're in line, your head doesn't come down, it comes straight out in a neutral position. It's really gonna hold yourself up, so make sure that your butt isn't in the air, holding it here. When I call to the side, you're gonna bring your leg to the knee, your knee to the outer side of the leg. When I call front, you're gonna bring your knee to the front. So we'll get started. We're gonna start off with eight. Hold that plank. Hang in there. Almost time, four, three. Here we go, start. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold that plank, come up for eight. Down, seven, all the way down, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. All right, now take that knee in. In, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now hold it here. Now take that butt up and down, up and down. Good, good. Five, hang in there. Four, three, Two, and one. All right, go ahead and stretch. Now, if you're super advanced and you wanna hold that plank, hold the plank because we're gonna do six, and then we're gonna do fours, and then we're done with these and we're gonna move on. So come right back up. Get ready. Six, 
six of them. Here we go. Six to the side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it there. Take the butt up and down. Set. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Now bring that knee in. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, bring the butt up. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, good job. Stretch it out. We only have four left. I know these are hard. Come back up. Are you ready for the last ones? Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Bring the butt up. Four, three, two, and one. All right, knee in. Four, three, two, and one. Bring the butt up. Four, three, two, and one, stretch it out, good job. All right, great job, now let's cool down and stretch. Go ahead, take your legs out, flex your toes, or flex your feet and try to reach for those toes. If you can't reach them, that's okay. Nice hold, awesome job. You did a great workout and each time you do the video, just push yourself a little bit harder but you should be proud of yourself because this was tough, it wasn't easy. Go ahead, point your toes. Try to bring your nose to your knees, but stretch to where you have a flat back, trying to bring that nose to the knees. If you're like most of us, the nose won't reach the knees, but that's something to strive for. All right, nice big stretch. You can just feel that in your hamstrings and pull it up. You can do a butterfly stretch. We really work those inner thighs, so you want to make sure you get a nice good stretch on those. Try to take your knees down to the mat as far as you can go. Good. Shoulders are up. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. All right, take your feet in. You're gonna roll over onto all fours and you're gonna come into a cat stretch. So arch your back up to the ceiling and then arch it down to the floor. Good. One more time, take it up and down. Come down to your elbows. We're gonna stretch out those quads. We really worked our legs. So we're gonna take one leg up, pull it in, feel the stretch in the front of the thigh. Good. If you, can't get your, if you can't reach your foot, all you need to do is bend your foot just like this and you'll still feel that stretch. All right, so other side, other leg, pull it in. Good. Take that leg down. You're gonna roll it up all the way to your feet. Nice and slow, just go ahead and roll it up. And you're gonna dangle there just a little bit because that's gonna stretch out those hamstrings. Should feel really good. And then roll it up nice and slow. Go ahead, stretch the tricep. Take one arm, one shoulder back. Take it down, other side. Feel that stretch. And then take your palms, facing the TV, stretching them out, stretching out that bite, the bicep. Then you're gonna take one arm across your body, stretching out the shoulder. And then other side. Take your feet apart, take a deep breath in. 
and exhale one more time inhale and exhale awesome job